Global Politicans, former heads of state, scholars, and press gathered in Beijing as the Communist Party of China talked about a sweeping anti-corruption drive. At a dialogue between the CPC and the world, CPC officials explained why and how they are conducting the campaign. Li Junru, a former vice president of Central Party School, said it's undeniable that a campaign can strengthen the power base of the party. But in the meantime, the party also needs to examine itself. China has been moving from a planned economy to a market economy. The transformation has been done by the government as it shifts power to the markets. But the government still holds huge power and that means opportunities continue to exist for corruption. The radical way to solve the corruption is to deepen economic reforms and transfer more power from the government to the markets. In China's system with a single leading party, the anti-corruption campaign heavily relies on party discipline in addition to the country's law. The CPC is revising its discipline by deleting the parts that overlap with national laws in order to combine both systems in the progress in the process of strengthening the discipline of the party. The party's discipline is stricter than law, so party members need to have higher self-discipline than ordinary people. For example, holding luxury weddings or funerals is not illegal for ordinary people, but for party members, it violates the discipline of the party. The campaigns are conducted not only by the party's discipline commission, but also by an entire system, including the party's organization department, which controls cadre assignment throughout the national system. Whether we conduct the anti-corruption campaign or not, our existing problems should be known by the world. We admit that we have problems. The outside world may have some misunderstanding about this campaign, but I believe that ultimately they will have a positive response. Like Mr. Li says, corruption is the universal problem. The experience in China can be shared with the rest of the world. Yang Zhao, CCTV.